Hi, this is Bryce Button, Director of Product Marketing here at AJA Video Systems. We are thrilled to be at NAB's 2023 show. It's their 100th anniversary, it's AJA's 30th anniversary, so it's celebration year. In terms of new products, we're thrilled to be showing you here the Dante AV 4KT and the Dante AV 4KR. What this is about is we now have these new transmitters and receivers for video over Dante. Dante has been around for quite some time in terms of utilizing IP to move digital audio files, but now we can do it with video. And this is great looking video. Uh, you're talking about JPEG 2000, which is visually lossless. It's the same quality you've seen in cinemas. And the key uh, conversion work that's going on with these boxes is we're converting from 12G SDI or HDMI 2.0 into Dante AV or from Dante AV Ultra back to 12G SDI or HDMI. On top of that, it's linked to this uh, ecosystem that already exists, which is very easy to control with software known as Dante Controller. So this is your Dante Controller software. As you can easily see here, you've got your receivers and your transmitters, and it's simple tick box marks in terms of routing from one to the other. Really just working like a spreadsheet. Now what's really critical also with this is this is a great option if you're looking at IP video for dealing with key live elements where you really need to keep video and audio in sync. It's a subframe in terms of the transmission to reception. So less than a frame of video in terms of timing from the source to the display. So that means for live concerts, for all sorts of stadium work, uh, anytime you've got perhaps a performer and you want to see the musician, you're now going to get this live and in sync on the large displays that are going to be behind the performers. This is great for houses of worship. This is great for corporate stuff. It's great for a lot of different types of live productions. Uh, and it's a simple system. So here's the rear end of a 4K transmitter for the Dante AV Ultra. You've got typical XLR power. A lot of you that are used to working in the field be used to. But the great thing you get with this is on the one giggy networks that you're utilizing, you can utilize this new track connector for the ethernet port. Not only is that moving your Dante AV over the ethernet, but it's what we call PoE. In other words, it provides power as well. So you can plug this into a switch and it'll literally power it as well as do the transfer of the Dante AV Ultra video. You have a second port, which is gonna be for future use. You've got your SDI um, in, in this case, reference, HDMI 2.0, the RS422 jack is great. You might already be utilizing uh, EPTZ cameras, and this is the control connection for them. You also have USB hubs. That allows you to do KVM type of stuff. You can literally be working with keyboards and mice, and that'll be uh, communicated across the ethernet from transmitters to receivers and vice versa. That is pretty exciting here. It's little IR ports. What does that mean? Well, you can literally control a receiver and its output and use a remote at where the display is that you connect connected to you from here at the source. So you can be a great distance away and control all these various devices. And then of course you always have the RCA jacks, so if you're trying to monitor uh, some channels of audio you can do that from wherever you are. To find out more please do visit aja.com Check out our What's New uh, pages, and you can learn about the Dante AV products as well as all the great upgrades that we've been doing to our HDR products for this show. Mm -hmm.